I'm gonna put my hand on the proverbial forbidden fruit of the forbidden tree to gain forbidden knowledge here. I call it forbidden, forbidden knowledge because it pretty much is. These leaks have given me info about Pokemon that I'm glad to know, such as concept art and whatnot, and some I wish I never learned about. Um, I think there was a reason why this stuff was put in a vault like hundreds of feet underground. No, no human should have learned about this, but hey, we are curious creatures and this is where we are now. Now I'm gonna go through the leaks, not gonna talk too in depth on it because come on, at this point everyone knows about it, they've gone through it on their own time, right? So I'm just gonna tap into some because I wanna defend some as, you know, some of them are my favorite Pokemon and what's coming out. I've just been getting sent memes and memes about these Pokemon that I like uh, by friends and I'm like, nope, I, I, I cannot stand for the slander. Hey, you know they got your mans. They got your mans on <laughs> so charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> And he was your mans. He was your boy. <laughs> But of course, I'm not gonna show exactly like the stories, sure, but not like the art and whatnot, cause yeah, um, I don't want to take any chances when Nintendo and their Nintendo ninjas and executives, uh, they'll come after me and I don't want to deal with that. Now the question is, why am I making the video now and not when the first wave of bombs fell? Is because the uploader was leaking the leaks per day for s specific generations and now it's getting to a point where it's slowing down so we're not gonna see as crazy things as we did at the beginning and now I decided okay now I could go through talk about the ones that really stood out the most and go from there to emphasis these leaks have been both a blessing and a curse Blessing because, yeah, we got to see some cool things and concepts and seeing how Game Freak actually operates when they're making a game. But the bad is that employee information was also leaked along with it. Game Freak employees had their data compromised and that's just never the right thing to do. Like, these are just everyday normal people. They already deal with like crazy fans and whatnot. Now it's out there in the open. Yeah, so Nintendo stepping in, they're in their right. They're definitely in their right if they want to take this leaker and bury him up to his neck and take turns Goomba stomping him. Now, most people have been getting these leaks from Twitter. Me, myself, I've been part of a subreddit called PokeLeaks. And um, the one good thing about these leaks is I got to see this subreddit come back to life in real time. A lot of cool things were revealed in this leak, such as like beta designs of Pokemon throughout the generations. Some cool, some like... Hmm, I'm kind of glad they uh, put it back in the oven to bake more. It's sad to see that a lot of scrap materials really make you think, God, I wish they would have put that in, such as this peanut looking Pokemon. Again, can't show it, but that would have sold major plushies. I could tell you that much. The ones that did stand out to me is how much they referenced other materials, media, and people. For example, when it came to like the remake of Ruby and Sapphire, uh, they did a mock-up of the flying mechanic using a Minecraft map version of the Hoenn region by a user called Badoof King. I'm just saying that it is kind of odd because usually Nintendo takes down like Minecraft mods, especially around Pokemon, Mario, and whatnot. So it's kind of um, like, Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Moving on to the other things they had in the concepts, arts and whatnot, is character sheets. Character sheets used to like describe what the character will look like, what they'll act like, all this. And, um, well, uh, this was uh, interesting for Black and White. Pokemon Black and White has a character called Skyla, and she's a flying gym leader. And well, her character sheet is pretty interesting based on what they were going for and what came out instead. So reading off the character sheet, this is what you get. Gender, female, age, 18, occupation, pilot, and uh, ethnic group, Hispanic, which made sense because Unova is based in New York and America. So yeah, that, that checks out. Then you get to like 
appearance wise 165 centimeters tall around 53 kg in weight brown skin slim but only the chest is large dark eyes facial features clothing casual clothing such as hot pants and tank tops more exposure like they em- they had to emphasize more exposure moving to a person appearance image isabella fontana and jennifer lopez and they have the pictures like just on the sheets these are the same exact pictures I'm showing. I don't think you could copyright that, but still, it's it's right there. So with that being said, here's what she did end up looking like in the game. Yeah, um, as you could see, the hot pants made it. So big celebration there. But all in all, most of it was not. It was taken back, re-edited, it, and I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of glad. I played this as a kid, and you got to be reminded sometimes Pokemon, although it has a fan base for adults and whatnot, big adult fan base, it's still for children pri- primarily. They they did have a little plan of a Pokemon movie that would tackle adult topics, more mature do- topics, I mean, such as like cyberbullying and the results of that. So that is something they could embrace, try and get through that. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I guess this isn't the most freakiest thing people have seen because this is where I'm moving on to to, to try and defend my boy, all right? They really put the freaky in Game Freak because uh, the next batch, the ones that came out a few days ago, was the lore of the blurred lines between humans and Pokemon. Now, to be fair, before diving straight into this, uh, playing... Black, uh, not black and white, uh, Diamond and Pearl, there were lore books where they said, okay, yeah, Pokemon and humans married, sure, whatever. So that was established. Even in Legends Arceus, there was like a little side quest with a, a frost lass, I believe, where I remember the, the man specifically is like sort of emphasizing, yet yeah, that's his wife, the Pokemon, and they have two kids, which you could see nearby. But all in all, I would just say it's scrapped, okay? It's scrapped. No need to go nuts. This isn't in the games, all right? But moving on to the stories, just, you already know them. I'm just going to gloss over them real quick. <laughs> is um, my boy Typhlosion is not doing well, all right? Um, this, the story was about Typhlosion. Uh, it, it's based on fairy tales, okay? Uh, yes, I'm trying to cope, try to, you know, but it is. It's based on like Japanese folk tales, which has the similar kind of yokai tales where girl meets spirit or something like that, or guy meets a woman in the wild. They end up getting married, have kids, live for a decade. Then the woman pieces out over a fence saying, yep. Yeah, I'm a fox now, don't expect child support, and bounces off. It's it's based on those kind of tales. So the story is Typhlosion and gaslights a girl, I guess. Yeah, sure. Something about berries sleeping. And apparently Typhlosions are half humans. We're all half Typhlosion. Again, it just seemed like a a creative writing exercise for the developers or whatnot. But uh, the other stories I feel like are a bit worse. I don't know why they uh, hyper fixated on Typhlosion because the slacking one was very bad, okay? The slacking, the, the girl that harmed the slackots and whatnot and then she gets, um, she gets all blurried wise, loses conscience while the slack, slacking is over her and then she wakes up having a child that's... A slack is just, yeah, no matter which way you spin that story, that one I feel like is the worst to me. The other one is um, this guy who keeps going to the beach and finds an octillery and decides to have relationships with an octillery and then throw it back into the ocean. Um, and they he, he does this over and over again until the octillery comes to him in a dream that says, yeah, this is our child. I ain't taking care of it. I'm gonna drop it off here and I'm gonna leave. So, uh, what I don't understand is that these stories tend to have the more animalistic Pokemon and not like Gardevia or the human-like ones. You, you clearly, this could have gone if you'd use a Machamp or something. Why they had to be all the animal ones? Like, that's what bothers me. <laughs> but yeah, um, then it goes to Rapidash. Um, Rapidash's story, again, same thing, guy 
is really into horses apparently and then they have children it's all four of these stories seem to just end in pokemon and humans having children so uh, there you have it but the memes i keep getting are the ones i hate i hate it i hated it when vaporeon got it i hate it now because even though it's gonna be dis it is disproven it is scrap material i'm never gonna hear the end of it this these jokes are gonna keep on coming out it started off with this one then it came to this one then it came to this one i i'm like can a guy get a break, man? Can a guy get a break, all right? I'm gonna defend my boy Typhlosion, all right? Because he's been with me since the beginning, ride or die, and I'm not gonna abandon him, all right? First off, the stories were written by one person, all right? One person who I don't even know still works at Game Freak. That's point one. Point two, this isn't the first time. Literally, there's a movie where Ash is being crushed on by a girl who turns out to be Latias. I don't see anyone getting on Latias's case. And the last most important point is that it's scrapped content. It was scrapped for a reason. It was hidden for a reason, not for our eyes, because this is the reaction we would have gotten. I'm just glad that the Pokemon community has not succumbed to the brain rod of making the same joke over and over again for example i saw this on my feed and i thought oh boy what are the comments gonna save and thankfully the comments were positive they were lovely nothing to do about that abomination of a story i'm so glad i'm so proud of this community but <sighs> Sadly, just like Vaporeon, anytime any of those Pokemon that showed up in the stories pop up here and there, you're gonna hear a joke. Maybe I'll, sure, once in a while, fine, I'll humor the joke, but it's just, it, it, it gets to a point, you know? It's sort of like the Edward joke, Full, Al Full Metal Alchemist. Anytime I see like someone put a wig on their dog, you know, like on a short or whatnot, you could expect the comments to be Edward and stuff like that, so. Not good, not fun at all, but I could handle it in small micro doses, I guess. <laughs> Personally, for me though, in the leaks, the only thing I wanted to know out of everything, not the Typhlosion human hybrids and whatnot, I wanted to know why Game Freak hates Regigigas. Regigigas is a Pokemon that is just crippled. No matter what game he's in, they just give him these uh, abilities and whatnot that just nerfs him to the ground. Like, I don't know what he did. He's supposed to be this big legendary, this leader of these Regis. And even in Pokemon Legends Arceus, a game that doesn't even have abilities, they found a way to give him this slow start ability that cripples him from doing anything. Uh, like, I really wanted to know why, where the hatred came for that. I, 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 I don't know why they hate him. All in all, I just, uh, it's been a breath of fresh air. That's what I'm going to say. I uh, got to see some cool looking Pokemon concept arts and whatnot. I, I'm feeling, in a strange way, I'm feeling optimistic about Pokemon's future, especially since they're taking their time now. Uh, there's no new Pokemon game coming, I believe, this year. They're taking their time, making sure it bakes properly. And hopefully the new Legends RCS game and Gen 10, they come out looking great and just out there kicking. Scarlet and Violet I thought were pretty okay. It's just the bugs were uh, just all over the place. Hopefully now they have time to optimize. But yeah, uh, <laughs> crazy leaks. I'm still going to like Typhlosion. Nothing's going to stop me from that. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. That's all there is.